All right, it is Tuesday after the shower. She yes. couldn't wait. She got excited and came up in here talking about she had a sore throat. Ain't talked about the sore throat since last night. Yeah, sore throat so, is out of the window. It's out of the window. Yes. So, we are here. Yes. Uh, the doctors is going to keep us here for a couple of days to keep get this thing under control. I hear a little heartbeat going. Yes. Sound like you're running track. Hmm. Yeah, you, you in the uh, yeah, yeah. He tired of your ass. He ready to call. He ready to go. <laughs> All right. So this is part one. We will return. Welcome back to my channel. If I'm looking all crazy, it's because I'm vlogging on my phone. I do not have my camera with me because I did not plan on being here again. <laughs> I ended up coming back to the hospital last night because my blood sugars dropped really low and my contractions got really intense and I started having headaches and stuff. I found out when I got here, I was about four centimeters and then after two hours they wanted to monitor me for two hours and then they found out I was five centimeters so because I was progressing they went ahead and readmitted me back into the hospital because pretty much baby is coming I always imagine like this whole experience to be I'm sorry if you can hear the TV in the background but I always imagine this whole experience to be like very emotional nerve-wracking scary but it's not. I'm so at peace. Um, and I think it's because I'm trusting God through this whole process and believing that everything is going to be okay. I am on a little bit of a crunch right now because my husband was granted emergency leave from the military from deployment to come home. And he has been flying for two days trying to get here <laughs> and now I'm like I don't want anything to happen until my husband gets here so his plane should land in a couple hours and then he's coming straight to the hospital he literally left his command with no clothes only a backpack with his like computer and chargers and stuff like that I'm excited to see him and I'm so excited that he is most likely gonna be making the birth of our baby I tried to like FaceTime him and stuff before he got on the plane today. Sorry, I look a hot flaming mess. My hair look all crazy. I've been trying to get sleep and stuff. Um, but of course, being in the hospital, you can't. I've just been kind of picking at some hospital food over here. My hospital bag was repacked and everything and ready to go. It's just in my dad's truck. And so when he comes back later, or my stepmom comes back later, she's going to bring my hospital bag up here so I won't look too crusty and I can do something to my head. Yeah, I don't know. I'm really swollen. My hands are really swollen. My face is really swollen right now. I'm waiting on the results to come back to see if I have preeclampsia because my whole body is literally puffed up out of nowhere. And um, yeah, I'm praying for the best for that. Ooh my head looks terrible i can't believe i'm recording myself but this might be my only chance to record anything before baby comes and i'm just i'm more excited even though he'll have to go to the nicu i'm prepared because the nicu team has already come to talk to me and prepare me they didn't bombard me all at one time like all the doctors and stuff everybody took their time coming in and explaining their jobs and what their position is going to be and all this stuff so i feel pretty good i feel pretty good i feel well informed everybody sat and listened to all my questions and everything i feel like they heard what i had to say which is important to me right now i'm just kind of by myself and i was just like you know i'm just really at peace it's nothing like i imagined this whole experience would be 
Here's my last little bump shot. I have monitors and stuff everywhere. So you can't really even see, but he's there. And we have monitors everywhere. Um, so yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see my baby. Even though I am 32 weeks, six days today, I'll be 33 weeks tomorrow. He may come today, he may come tomorrow. I just ate, so regardless, I have to wait eight hours if I should need a C-section or something anyway. But I always imagine this whole birthing experience or going into labor to be totally different. I never imagined that it would be this way, but more excited to see my baby and for him to get the treatment and stuff that he needs um, if that is not from me at this point. Um, I do plan on breastfeeding him uh, or at least pumping for him to get my breast milk if he does have, well, when he goes into the NICU because he's going to be too early. But um, they've given me another steroid shot to help his lungs today. What else did they do? I don't know, but I, this is my second IV. <laughs> oh, you know, oh, I was going to say she didn't hook it back up. But yeah. This whole experience is something else. It's kind of surreal. Maybe it just hasn't hit me yet that this is really happening and I'm being childish. <laughs> I just need to get my life together. But I wanted to record something while I had some time to myself to, I guess, kind of remember how I felt in this moment because I am extremely calm and I'm taking these contractions like a champ. Everybody is shocked at how, like, well I'm taking them I'm not screaming and hollering I just kind of breathe through them one at a time and then when they're done it's over and I get a break especially if there's a real long gap like it is right now in between them I just take it one at a time and um it hasn't been that bad it hasn't been like I really thought contractions were going to be I'm surprised but I'm proud of myself for taking it like this so I was it is about one o'clock in the afternoon right now at midnight they checked me and i was five centimeters then so i'm interested to see how far i've dilated since then if i've dilated at all um but pretty much i did a lot of that work at home um so yeah i did plan on having a c-section some of the other doctors have tried to give me like another opinion about doing a vaginal delivery um so i'm kind of going back and forth between which way i'm gonna go for the benefits for me and baby right now i don't know but for now i'm taking all these contractions with no epidural or anything and i'm proud of myself I'm so, so proud of myself for at least doing it halfway to 10 centimeters. Yeah, I'm not feeling like he's coming right this second, so that's good. And my water still hasn't broken or anything either, so we'll see. He'll probably be here in the next couple days, which is exciting that I'll get to finally meet him and see him. It's going to suck that I won't get to bring him home right away. Um, but I don't live far, so I can come and see him as much as I want and take care of him and stuff like that. And, yeah, I just feel so blessed. I feel so, so blessed that I'm finally here. Like, this is the moment I've waited for to just meet my rainbow baby, meet my, my take-home baby. Just, I know God is going to cover us, protect us from all hurt, harm, danger, heal us from anything that we may struggle with so i guess that's why i'm also at peace because i have faith that everything is going to work out and in a couple weeks everything will kind of settle down and we'll all be home together so that's all um i'm gonna get off of here i'll try to get some stuff recorded on my phone to document this experience but this is literally not how i planned it at all <laughs> but i mean hey babies are gonna do what they want to do and you can never plan anything so i'll check in with you guys
you guys. Baby Bo is making his arrival today. Today is March 13th. I'm vlogging on my phone because I wasn't expecting this at all. <laughs> so, it's just, I can't believe today is the day that I'm finally meeting my rainbow baby. He's early. I am 33 weeks exactly today. And um, I'm sorry if you guys can hear the TV very loud in the background. Dion left to go home to take care of our dogs. I'm here by myself right now and there's no remote to the TV. So I'm stuck with Blackish playing. But you can hear Bo's heartbeat in the background. Hopefully, I'm just sitting here looking at the little warmer thing for when he's first when he first comes out. <sighs> so much has happened, you guys. So I can't wait to tell you. But I know you can see how puffy I am. My hands are so puffy. I wish I could show you my legs, but they have me on my side right now because they needed him to move a little bit or something. And um, I have these things on my legs, these compression things. I am, oh, I have a catheter in. I had to get a catheter, y'all, with no epidural or nothing in. And it was very, very uncomfortable for me. Um, but right now it's like, they, they kind of like tape the cord to my leg. So it's, it's kind of, it's pinching my thigh right now. So I'm trying not to complain because I did have a bit of an attitude with all these things just kind of happening. Cause it was like, they put me on magnesium because to prevent me from having uh, seizures. That's what they gave me magnesium for. And um, I don't know if I've mentioned already, I don't know what kind of footage I already have. I'm do, just trying to record, remember to have something to remember the moment on my phone hi all right you guys i don't know what where i even left off before but um i don't even know what i was saying i got the nurses came in and threw me off i got a new nurse and she just got me really comfortable and a little as comfortable as i can be right now because i have a catheter in my body's all turned kind of crooked and very uncomfortable right now they haven't come to do the epidural process or nothing but today um they were about to get me prepped to go to anti antenatal department or something like that which is in the postpartum department and um i thought i would be going home tomorrow or the day after and then they ran more labs because some of my labs didn't come back yesterday and some of them didn't get ran and then the doctor came in and told me that I have preeclampsia. So, me and baby, it'll be best for both of us if he's born today, which happens to be my cousin's birthday who passed away a few months ago. Um, he would have been 33 today, and I'm 33 weeks today. My baby boy is coming on my cousin's birthday. I have my charger crossing me right now. Dion is, Dion was able to make it, you guys. I don't know, I don't think I've even mentioned that part. I know I talked, went on my live and told you guys that um, I wasn't sure if Dion would be making the birth, if he would be able to come home, um, but he made it home yesterday, safe and sound. So um, Dion is here with me. Um, he made it back to the state safe and sound just in time because all this uh, COVID, all this, you know, virus stuff everybody's talking about brought up some new restrictions. And if he would have waited, if they would have waited to send him today, he would have been stuck um, on deployment. So um, because of this emergency, they were able to get him back. And I'm so, so grateful. So <sighs> me and him be here finishing this thing out hanging out um until baby Bo gets here let me see oh i can't flip the camera or anything but um over here it's my monitors there's the door there's the door and then there's the nurses sink and stuff and then there's the bathroom and like waste stuff and then I think you guys can see it. I'm not really sure. That's where the baby will be coming out at. Um, there's a TV playing up there. I'll show you this side. That's Dion's chair. It stretches out into a little bed. 
my ice cups and water. Dion even got him a cup right here. We have a window because I've been in a room with no window, you guys. I've been in a room with no window. Um, but yeah, here is my last little bump shot, I guess, of me and Bo. And we'll be meeting him soon. Hopefully all of these moles that came up in pregnancy start to fall off. This, my skin kind of goes back to its normal color. And yeah, I'm excited. I'm not nervous at all. I'm not nervous. I'm not overwhelmed or nothing just yet. Um, they did um, oof. this um, catheter is uncomfortable. Yeah, I don't know, but um, yeah. I just want to give updates and stuff so that I can remember this moment and this time, how I was feeling. Um, yeah, I'm not scared. I'm just ready for him to come and be safe for both of us to be as safe as possible. So that's all I'm concerned about at this point. So, so yeah, I'll keep you guys posted on what's happening. Um, but they just bumped up my Pitocin. I just felt one contraction. It wasn't too bad. And we'll see how the rest go <laughs> following following this. But hopefully labor doesn't go too far, go too long. Because I'm already like a four, four, five centimeters dilated already. So hopefully it doesn't take too, too long. And I'll be seeing him soon. And my boy will be here. I'm so, so excited. <laughs> I'm so, so excited. My boy is coming. So, <sighs> I'm excited. It's been a long time coming. Yeah, my family, my parents have been praying and stuff for me and my aunt. Um, but, yeah, I just kind of want to be in the moment at the same time, too. So, I would, I'll be doing some recording, but... Yeah, I'll be in the moment. I don't have any cameras here because I was not planning on having a baby. <laughs> so all I have is my phone to just kind of do what I can. So we'll see. We'll see what comes up of all of this stuff. So I'm excited. My baby is coming. I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited. So I'll keep you guys posted. Now maybe I'll check in when Dion comes back. Oh, look at that. How you feeling? I feel much better now. I got this epidural. I just, it feels weird. Mm -hmm. From the waist down. It's tingly. It's tingly? Yeah. The shake stopped. It keeps <laughs> coming and going. That's strange. Mm -hmm. It so, still hasn't hit me that he's actually coming. So but give an update. So I got my epidural. Um. I'm doing, they're turning me from side to side so that the medicine can be like evenly distributed. And they just broke my water. Um, I'm six, he said six, seven? Yeah, six. Six, so we're in active labor now. And once I feel the pressure, I just have to let them know that I have a little bit of pressure. Um, but they're gonna come and check me again, right? Is that what he said? Yeah, he said mm -hmm. in a couple hours. Yeah, in a couple hours they'll come and check me again to see but listen having this epidural I almost gave up on it I had to try four times <laughs> uh, I was over it <laughs> but they it was a student she was a student right yeah they didn't ask me if I, it was okay for her that yeah was something that was getting on my nerves yeah for her to just be, like ask me if it's okay for the student to be working on me and stuff but mm -hmm. The actual anesthesiologist ended up getting it for me. So now everything is nice and numb. Just my skin just feels really weird. But um, yeah, I'm ready to get this show on the road. Yeah. Get the show on the road. Yeah. This is the room right here. <laughs> All her drugs. <laughs> you know. Heart rate and the contractions are. The 
white is with my contractions. Oh, the white is contractions and uh, the green is a uh, bow. Yes. Is that zero? What? So you ain't having no contraction. Not right now. Yeah. You view the, the room here. That's my little setup over there. You know, it's all our stuff we gotta organize over there. Here's uh, the thing they got for them. You know, yeah, that's, that's about it. I sure did not. I gotta go feed my babies. Yeah. Yeah. How do you feel? Let's turn the camera on you. Huh? Let's turn the camera on you. Okay. There you go. You can't see you at all. You can't see me? No, it's dark. What? Where's my little night light thing? Why would you bright? Huh? Because the light is right there. You in front of the light. There you go. I look good now. Yes, yeah, so you look good. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. So, how do you feel? I'm You're about to be a dad. About to be a. Uh, I'm the pappy. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, you stopped at the liquor store? <laughs> You what are you drinking? Palmasan. Huh? You not supposed to be drinking no dark liquor. <laughs> Having a, I'm talking to my son. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm chilling right now, man. I just noticed. Is this whole experience weird for you? Uh, I caught the. I'm getting the beginning and the and the end of it. You I kind of miss kind of like the middle. Yeah. I wasn't when I was getting an epidural for you. He kept messing with my gown, y'all. And I was, I was like, leave this gown up, alone. Why you keep touching it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, it? buddy. Hey, y'all. Hey. Hi. Hey, oh. Him, That's Courtney. Am I in the way? No. We just... My bad. Yeah. Say, yeah. Hello. Say hello. Say yes. hello. Right. They had to do it four times. <laughs> yeah, that's Courtney. You want to be on camera? Oh, that's Courtney. <laughs> <Hi>. <laughs> yep. Push, 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 push